Hey, what's up? My name is Manuel Gatna Fernandez and I do vocals and guitars in Unprocessed. What's up guys? I'm Leon and I do drums in Unprocessed. Yeah, good. 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 Yeah. I had a good sleep, nice shower. Everything is good. <laughs> yeah, I slept like 13 hours or something. So I'm not <laughs> tired, which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it has been really nice actually because we're on the nightliner so we get plenty of sleep if we want to uh, so yeah this tour has been great so far really enjoying it yeah I mean it's a, it's a long one this is a very long one probably like almost like six weeks on the road we like 50% maybe like 52% now through it so uh, Two and a half weeks ago, but yeah, it's been it's been sick. Like the um, to see how the to see the impact of the new record is mind blowing. Yeah, yeah. response has been really good so mm -hmm. far. Yeah, we're we playing forty five minutes. Mm. I think it's pretty standard. Yeah, I think it's a standard su direct support. Yeah, but it's length. a nice nice set length for sure. Yeah. It's nice to be on stage for this time. Yeah, yeah. I think it's eight or nine songs. Yeah, our songs are, like, are not that long. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's quite quite nice to see people singing along, uh, knowing the lyrics, and it has been like this in every city basically. Um, so that's really really cool to see. Yeah. Oh, we just locked ourselves in the rehearsal space for ten days and grinded it out and just like went through everything, hashed out all the details, and uh, yeah, pretty. Standard as we usually do, yeah. Honestly, I think at one point we are trying, like, we will try to play, like, maybe any of those songs, um, especially like on the headliner that is coming up, like US and uh, yeah, the US headliner. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure if we can get everything down on stage, but that would be like the goal because it's like a those record, th this record has only like nine songs in it. But yeah. for that particular run, we just we just uh, thought about like the set list. We were like, all right, we have to play that song, that song, and yeah. But any of those songs, like, kind of, they kind of work. They yeah. kind of work. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we don't we don't write the songs thinking about uh, are we going to be able to do this live. So uh, if it's hard, we just have to learn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that record. I just started writing um, after the, uh, the 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 tour we did in October of 2022. So um, yeah, it was super quick. It was super intuitive. I just started writing, and everything felt super easy for me. It was just like it was not it was not forced. Um, so that was that was nice, and uh, that was quick. Now compared to the previous albums, it was like mm. Manu started writing and then he was like, ah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was the time frame in that sense? Maybe, how oh, long was it? I think I started September 22, I think. Mm, let's say October because, demo? yeah, like it, it was a, Thrash was like a sound demo at first. It had like a completely different chorus. It was like more like, okay, what can we do? Was yeah. kind of soft, like the uh, like the gold record from like 2022, but then we were like, all right, no, nah, sh shit has to get heavier again. So um, <laughs> let's say October till May. That's where when we May? turn in the masters or July, sorry, July. Yeah, so that was that was a short period of time, but you know, it worked yeah. out. Yeah, I mean. Because the previous album obviously was released in 2022. So, um, yeah, I guess that nowadays there's so much about these album cycles and such. And I guess the ideal cycle is like two years. Well, for you guys, like, is it just whenever creativity hits or is that? Yeah, you want? Mm -hmm. I would say we just try to be as fast as possible. Because like in this environment of like streaming and super short attention spans, it's kind of important to just keep 
getting out there in a way? Honestly, I wouldn't say we're trying to be as fast no. as possible, but it's just like it we are yeah. <laughs> kind of fast. Like, because, we, like, I was always, like, right now on that tour, I have like a thousand ideas in my head. So I just want to start writing. So it's a great thing that we're like now independent and we can like just release songs whenever we want to, you know? Yeah. Like it's, I love writing songs. I love producing songs yeah. and it's so fucking sick, yeah. I feel like the, the live aspect is for sure influencing the, the songwriting in a way. Um, especially like when we started playing the gold songs live, uh, we noticed that we just had loads more fun if we play really heavy stuff. Um, and like on gold, there were super sick live songs, don't get me wrong, but uh, we kind of all wanted to go heavier again. Mm. Also for that reason. Yeah, those songs were boring life. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you're not playing? Like, I looked at the set, I don't remember there being any songs from Gold on there. Um, I mean, Rain is probably the song that we wanted to like play live, but then we had like, we have Dead Rose, we have Glass, and I don't know, it's like all kind of similar. We have to play Dead Rose because it's like, I don't know, but it's like kind of kind of everybody's darling. Yeah. Um, and Glass is the new one, so. I think, yeah, it's mostly a time thing. Mm. Like on the headliner run, we will play loads of different songs from different albums. And it's like, there you have the full freedom to like assemble a set that really makes sense from our energy perspective, from the musical yeah. flow and stuff. It's always kind of hard to to set up a set list for 30, 45 minutes. So yeah. Is there any of the new songs that you're really enjoying to play live right now on this run? Yeah. Every single one. Yeah. <laughs> They're super fun. Yeah. I, I personally love Hell and Lore. Yeah. Um, we're playing it as like a one bracket as it is on the album. Um, it's super exhausting, but it's uh, very nice. It's just heavy. Yeah. And Glass as well. I like Glass. Yeah, all of them. When it comes to like rehearsals, like I start to like really get the guitar stuff like down um, to a point where I don't have to think about it, so I can like really focus on the vocals live. Um, and yeah, this is kind of like my main thing. Like uh, I just have to get the guitar parts done and not think about it. Yeah, and also there's like um, with Christoph, he will he will be the bass when you man. Singing. Yeah, so this is like kind of easy, but it's it's not easy. Like it's really like I have to, I have to really concentrate, which is you know sometimes exhausting, but you mm -hmm. know it's also like it's it's a challenge. <laughs> it's, it's fun and it's rewarding if it uh, works out like you want it. So, yeah. Honestly, like for example, we toured like with Bolivia so many times, and it just made like the package just makes sense because we like the. Uh, the new stuff, um, some of them like were inspired by Polythia and we also like have two songs with them, so it just makes sense. Um, and Tesseract has been like in like a long time favorite band of ours. Yeah. And so that one also makes sense because we were like heavily inspired by them as well. Um, so that's cool. You know, it's just like, um, if it's a lesson, I don't know. I think it's just like a milestone in yeah. a way. And uh, I mean, you you learn every time you do stuff and like touring with bands that have been doing it for such a long time um, successfully. It's always nice, and you can learn so much. Um, so in that case, it is kind of lesson. Yeah, sure. but um, I don't know. It's just, it's really nice to to be able to do it with the musicians you look up to in a way. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, are there any milestones that you would like to reach in the future? Maybe some other bands you'd like. Hundred percent, yeah. yeah. Um, Bring Me would be sick. Okay. Um, Gujira would be sick. Sugar. Um, big headland tours. Yeah, like right now, like the, the the big like the big milestone is not to play like support bands. It's just like to see how far we can get with like our own shows. Mm -hmm. Um, that is the next milestone for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you have the, you mentioned the US tour yeah. coming up, yeah. right? So 
Um, do you have a sport act there as well? What, like having been a support act, what do you look for in a support act yourself? Um, yeah, we found a support act. Is it's not announced yet. Um, and, but for that, we, we we look for someone that is kind of similar in in the in the sound, but doesn't have to be another prog band essentially. And we want we want someone who's drawing a little bit of our own crowd so we can can uh, have them support us mm. um, in the literal sense um, and I guess it's just like see what works there's not too many bands out there that like fit size wise because like, it's either our size or really small bands or bands that are way bigger than mm -hmm. us so it's, uh, it's quite a challenge to find someone I don't know, it's just like about like, for me it's just like about having a good time yeah, on board. Yeah, essentially, mm -hmm. essentially that's that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Nice people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, decent people, yeah. nice people. Yeah. Professional people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the first full one. Headline. Yeah. 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 We, we did some shows around like off days of the last Polyphia support tour, but they were like small, small, and like super three weeks before we promoted those shows, yeah, and for that one, they were like super sick. Yeah, and this time it's uh, it's like full circle, and shows are starting to sell out, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's cool to see. We like this will be a full A market tour, so like every big city in the US and Canada, yeah. Um, and people will expect, I don't know, like a Full headliner show. Yeah, with High like energy, loads of songs, more production, and more time, more songs. Yeah, just a elongated and processed experience. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be hitting Europe as a headliner uh, in October uh, this year, and we'll also be in Helsinki again. Um, I don't know the exact date, but uh, we will be here, and uh, we'll be super fun experience i guess and uh, we're really looking forward to this tour and uh coming to all these amazing places in europe again as a headliner um so yeah come out to the show <laughs> see it for yourselves are there some venues that you haven't played in before that are going to be you know that you're going to visit or some places that you haven't visited before that you're excited about um i'm excited about the london one what the London one? The oh, London, yeah, yeah and the yes, Bristol yeah. one, because I don't know what it is about Bristol, but Bristol feels like a second hometown to us, because we probably like played there a couple of times, but like a few years back, and we made like super party, nice, yeah. we made lose super nice friends, like connections, and yeah. I hope to see the, some familiar faces in the Bristol crowd, and I think that one is also like a big one, right? Uh, on the test run, right? yeah, on that one. Yeah, yeah, and on the on the headliner will be. Oh, you guys are talking about. Sorry, I don't yeah. know what we're talking about right now, but yeah, we're <laughs> looking forward to Bristol for sure. Either way, um, yeah. and I, I look forward to the, all the all the UK shows in general because I feel like the UK is just like from an audience perspective always really nice. Um, and also, I look forward to being like Estonia and Lithuania uh, on the headline run because we've never been and we only heard like good things. Mm. Cold. Cold as fuck, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you're preparing for that right now as yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, I like the cold way more than the freaking heat. Yeah, but we came from minus 24 in Tampere. Yeah. And that was brutal. <laughs> it, it switches around a lot in here. It's like yeah. going from minus 5 to minus 24 within a day. So it's excellent. Yeah. Um, but yeah, how, how was the show actually in Tampere? I know that the... It was sick. Like, yeah, yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. Honestly, because we played here... <clears throat> and that one was, um, maybe it was like, I don't know, maybe people didn't know about like us or... Um, it was a really small venue. It was a well, really yeah. small venue. Sure and but this one was really cool. We had loads of crowd surfers at the end. It was really yeah. nice. So crowd surfers? Yeah. yeah. In Finland? Yeah. yeah. Wow, well, like, that's, that's cool. Like for Good for you guys. Constant, <laughs> constant stream for a whole song. That was really cool. Yeah, that only happens during bands like In Flames for the rest. Oh, I yeah. haven't seen much crowd surfers here. I'm from Belgium originally. So oh, yeah, challenge accepted for yeah. today again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, today is sold out, so... It I mean, this is what we're, like, all about, like, when it comes to, like, yeah. performing. Because, you know, like, 
honestly, <clears throat> I figured for myself personally, when I'm on stage, I'm having the most fun if I can like see the the crowd reaction and if that's like if it's like a rock and roll show energy. So this is like my thing. Like I love to have a good freaking rock and roll show going on um, because I don't want to have like this typical proc nerdy kind of <laughs> like everybody stand still and like yeah. us just doing this. No, we want to have boring. a rock show. For yeah. Sure. So yeah, that's all. Also something you can expect from our headline shows. Crowd surfers. Big party, <laughs> stage diving. More mosh pits. Is that yeah. like a demand? We have we have, we have, yeah. an, we have kind of like a hot like a hardcore attitude. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so we, so we like it all. Yeah. Well, let's see tonight. I don't know. Like they might, if they crowd surf, it might be up to the stage. But maybe you do enjoy yeah, that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think there's barriers. There, yeah. Yeah. Because we are al always like telling like the tour managers and the security briefing about like the crowd surfing thing, and so they're kind of prepared. Yeah. Yeah. And I will watch out if I if I like <laughs> see something happening like on stage, I will either like say something or even pause the show to make sure everything Everyone is yeah. fine. Everyone yeah. looks great. Oh, that's so. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for checking us out. Um, make sure to come out to the headline tour in October, wherever you're at. Um, but also make sure to come to the Finland show, which is in Helsinki. Um, and yeah, see you there. <laughs> <laughs>